This one's for Travis. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> now they've been going to him for the last I couple know. minutes. Keep it tally. Four up here. Two to two. Right. What was like the procedure of being shoved through the back of the truck? The procedure, actually, um, they wanted a sunk guy to do, to do the little trick first, and I said, wait, whoa, I, I want to do it. The guy had terrible fake hair that didn't even look like mine, first of all. <laughs> What's this? And this come on. Um, so, me and Derek, actually, we had to fit between those two spikes about this big. We had to fit in between it. So I know we practiced a few times. I had to step up onto like a little mount. And basically, I'd be turned. Let's, let's do a little reenactment. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so I got to step up. It's basically, I think it was, I got to step and turn. And it would say, what if you're not that bold? And I would just step up. And I'd do it. It's my spike. But we have a very small place to fit in between, so we had to get it right. He had to be very gentle and delicate, even though he's been very vicious. So he has a nice touch, soft hands, and just a great heart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was fun to do. It's always good to do your own stunts. Jackie Chan taught me that. <laughs> uh, Travis was awesome. He, he, he uh, embraced the uh, the stunts like amazingly well. He was he's such a not to blow him in front of everybody. He's such an amazing athlete. There's kids uh, in the room. But a fun yeah. horror fact about you, like what people would dig. Uh, a horror coincidence. Uh, your previous double, uh, Chris Carnell. Uh, left Friday the 13th uh, to do uh, My Bloody Valentine, and he played the minor in My Bloody Valentine, which was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 It was funny, actually, because Chris and I have been friends for a long time. I was like, hey, we're actually on Friday. He's like, oh man, I'm gonna, I just got a call. I'm gonna go do another show called um, My Bloody Valentine or something. They want me to be the killer, dude. It's gonna be awesome. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's fucking awesome. <laughs> he didn't really know what it was until I got there, then they embraced it. It's so awesome. Why, how many times can I say awesome? I have a limited it, vocabulary. Say it three times fast. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got it. <laughs> Next question. Did that answer your question? It's for Derek. Hi. You're obviously not like a crazy single killer. Hey, so, like, what did you think about to get into character like that? Dirty things. Actors? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off. Like, so, what, what did I think about to get into the, the character? To get into the character, yes. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I did a, it's funny because like, everyone's like, oh, you're so nice, but it's, Radio guy. Everybody has a good side and a bad side. It's like, I'm happy to be here now and everyone's so kind. So of course, I'm kind of like a, it's like a racquetball wall where you're throwing the positive energy and I'm like, you know, I'll send it back to you. You take the energy. Um, don't make him angry. Exactly. I get pissed off. I got, I got a real bad side. I do bad things. Um, no, the, uh, I just did character research. Like you would approach any other role. I did a lot of research on child psychology and um, the, the psychology of being alone in the woods, uh, wilderness survival. And so, taking that, you build your character so when you, you're yourself, you can play around and goof around, but when it's time to slip the character on, you've already built like a, a shell of a story. It's kind of like to, to nerd talk, like, like Dungeons and Dragons. You had your character ready, you had your character sheet, and you have your skills, you, you, you figured out you know, what your you know, pros and cons are, and then you just switch over into character, and then when they yell cut, you go back to you know, playing grab ass and making fun of each other. You guys ever played grab ass? <laughs> I'm serious. Raise your hands if you have. No? Okay. <laughs> nice. How about, how about uh, Derek Harris and Kane Otter celebrity rematch? Celebrity rematch. He's a celebrity chess match. <laughs> That'd be much better. <laughs> Battle of the Wits. Who's smarter? What? Now you're drunk. What? <laughs> awesome. This one's for uh, Travis. Hello, sir. In, in the scene where the body's thrown through a police car window. Yes. Um, when you scream, scream like a. Yeah. When, you, when you scream like a. When you scream like a girl, was it written like that, or was that just you? It was not written like that. Um, believe it or not, when I get cornered, or uh, <laughs> I'm scared, if I get caught off guard, I tend to scream like that. My girlfriend has a very manly scream, and I have a. Very girlish. False. Or my eyes just opened up really wide. I totally just scared you. It was still my diet coat. Uh, uh, so uh, I, I just did that because that's what I do. And I mean, the girl was falling from 15 feet up, breaking fake glass. The glass was being basically thrown at my face, so I was really protecting myself. Um, I did it the first two times with the screen. Um, they told me not to do the screen anymore. Um, and then for the last one, they said do it really big, and the really big one they used. Because I was, I was like, they're not going to use this. I'll do it really big, and that's what they used. 
feel bad about smacking the table. It's okay. Thought you said you scream every time you're scared. You didn't scream, but I just feel like that. I have to warm up. Stop it. 